English is our second language. Second language learning is different from the acquisition of our mother tongue. Now, students learn English from classroom situations only. There is no other situation outside the classroom for the students to learn the language. Hence, the students are to be motivated highly to learn the second language. Otherwise, they find it difficult to acquire in a well manner. So, uh, there are three approaches influencing the second language acquisition. As I told you, behaviorism, cognitivism, and constructivism. So, these uh, how these ideologies are you know affecting or influencing the second language learning in connection with their theory let us go through uh, how it can be helpful for learning second language so behaviorism basically theory focuses on the behavior of the learner and changes in behavior that occurs when learning takes place so it's all about behaviorism title itself you know it's all about behavior and underpinning by the principles of stimulus and responses. So all behavior is explained without the need to consider internal mental states or consciousness. So a behavioristic view of learner. Here the learner is passive. So you can we can expect a question in connection with the behavioristic view of a learner. Learner is considered as a passive, passive learner. Learner responding to environmental stimuli. Here, behaviorist believes learner behavior is shaped by positive reinforcement and negative reinforcement. So, here the reinforcement and motivation, encouragement, all these things are very much you know, inculcated with behaviorist approach. So, learner does not have any opportunity for evaluation or reflection within the learning process. Here, learner does not have any kind of opportunity, chance for evaluating himself or any reflection with in the learning process. So here we need to give positive reinforcement or uh, negative reinforcement in the sense we are giving ne negative reinforcement. Definitely, it will affect badly to the learner. Now, a behavioristic view of learning. Here, teacher is the dominant person in the classroom. Okay. Uh, according to the beh behavioristic view of learning, teacher is the dominant person in the classroom. Complete control, evaluation or reflection within the learning process, uh, the complete control to the teacher. In the learning process, the teacher decides what is right or wrong. So here, as I told you, teacher is dominant and teacher can decide what is wrong or what is right. Learning only focuses on the external changes of the learner have no any importance to the emotions or mental states of them. So uh, just take a note of the behavioristic view of learning. Now, as a teacher, in a behavioristic view of a teacher, as I told you, teacher is the dominant person, important person, and teacher providing stimulus material and promoting the correct responses. Classical conditioning, apparent conditioning as, you know, these are social learning you know some uh, kind of experiments i think we all have learned from our psychology and teacher can encourage or discourage a student by using positive or negative reward teacher should be the role model for students and teacher use of the use of technology new software or computer program for all students and he motivate facilitates learning Teacher should present material in small portion. Teacher should use repetition and lots of practice provide more individual work than group. And behavioristic view of a classroom. Here it, the teacher uses behaviorism to manage his or her classroom. Teacher should use parent conditioning to reward or punish his or her students. So mainly the behavioristic view, you know, we are reinforcement is matter. Let us go through cognitivism. The term cognitive means what? Definitely it is all connected to the brain and the mental process. And here it is including how people think and solve problems and their attention to one stimulus. Stimulus, definitely that we are giving some kind of external, uh, external forces. And totally, uh, it is totally different from behaviorism. 
it focuses the processing of information how the learner organizes new information with in the pre-existing one cognitive view of learner in connection with this you can see student is very you know active and a student role is very important student is active in cognitive view of learning here it is very important question you can expect cognitive view of learning student is very active okay but whereas in behaviorism student were passive so student should think deeply and answer question about the topic to further development and their understanding students use sensory details short term memory and long term memory to store information learning in the classroom the students come up with uh, mnemonic devices to remember facts uh, use existing knowledge to connect new information to help students retain information technology can be used to organize information into charts graphs concepts maps etc now let us check it uh, the cognitive view of learning cognitive learning believes learning occurs through internal process of information learning includes the reorganization of experiences either by attaining new insights or changing old ones examples of application of cognitive learning classifying or chunking information linking concepts providing structure discussion problem solving these are in connection with cognitive view of learning cognitive view of a teacher teacher is assist the learner application of the proper learning strategies and the learner is active in the learning process expository teaching teacher gives students the tools to organize information for easier coding storage and retrieval this is a very meaningful learning method now let us take it out of the cognitive view of classroom teacher should understand and incorporate different learning styles in classroom each student has a different type of intelligence they use their dominant intelligence while also working to improve their non dominant intelligence so i think uh, the cognitive view of classroom and this uh, ideology is really you know applicable in the current scenario and 21st century skills is one of the areas in cognitive learning so uh, it is very important constructivism a theory based on observation and scientific study about how people learn learner construct their own understanding and knowledge of the world through experience and reflecting on the experiences learner construct their own understanding and knowledge of the world through experiences and reflecting on these experiences constructivist view of learner it is also you know kind of student centered learner must construct their own understanding of the world in which they live so it's all about experience learner is self directed creative and innovative in nature develop skills by solving gain from experimentation and increase the confidences in their learning constructivist view of learning constructivist view of learning the learner construct their own knowledge hands on approach students control their own learning processes constructivism is very closely connected to the social learning a project based learning etc research type learning constructivist view of classroom it is like the learners are actively involved environment is democratic the activities are interactive and student centered some activities encourage in constructivist classrooms like experiment research project field trip films all these are connected to the constructivist view of method and please take a note of this um, the main point like the first one behaviorism it is like teacher centered behaviorism is completely teacher centered and at the same time in constructivism and uh, cognitivism students are active learners so this you can expect only one or two questions from this uh, lesson 
from this topic so you can mostly you can connect with the teacher centered student centered all these things you know so just to take a note of these points and no need to learn much you know wider about these topics but at least in connection with our education you must know it all these details